Learning Toolkit. Today we're going to learn about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were alive a long, long time ago, way before any humans were born. Who do we have with us today? Triceratops. Try, Sarah, tops. Can you say it with me? Try, Sarah, tops. Let's learn all about Triceratops. Triceratops was found in North America. It lived about sixty-eight million years ago, in the Late Cretaceous period. Cretaceous. Triceratops means three-horned face. It had two large horns above its eyes. Let's count them. One, two. The third was a very small one. Made up of the same stuff that's in your fingernail. Wow. Do you know how big a Triceratops was? Triceratops was as big as a truck. It was really heavy. It weighed as much as two elephants. One, two. Its head was almost a third of the length of its entire body. What a big head! What did Triceratops eat? Triceratops was a herbivore. That means it was a vegetarian. It ate plants, not meat. Mmm, -mm, delicious. Triceratops had no teeth. So how did it eat all those veggies? Instead of chewing, it ate rocks that ground up the plants in its belly. Imagine a belly full of rocks. Oof. Triceratops used its horns and the frill around its neck to defend itself against other dinosaurs. It also used its horns and frill to butt heads with and to attract other Triceratops. So what have we learned? We learned Triceratops was found in North America. It lived 68 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Triceratops means three-horned face. It had two huge horns and one that was like a fingernail. It was as big as a truck and weighed as much as two elephants. It had a very big head, and it ate lots of veggies, but used rocks in its belly to chew them instead of teeth. Triceratops used its horns and frill to defend itself, and also to attract other Triceratops. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating Triceratops. Bye, Triceratops. Today we're going to learn all about Stegosaurus. How do you say that again? Stegosaurus. Can you say it with me? Stegosaurus. So what do we know about Stegosaurus? It was found in the United States and Portugal.
They lived about 150 million years ago, in the late Jurassic period. J, R, A, S, I, C. This was the same time period as Brachiosaurus, so they would have been neighbours. Stegosaurus means roofed lizard because it had those plates on its back. Like the roof on a house. We'll talk more about those plates later. Do you know how big a Stegosaurus was? It was as big as a bus. But even though it was huge, it had a tiny brain. It was only the size of a walnut, so it wasn't too smart. So what were those plates for? Scientists think the plates on Stegosaurus's back were used to keep it warm by absorbing heat from the sun. Toasty. Scientists also think they were used to show off to other Stegosauruses. So what did Stegosaurus eat? Stegosaurus was a herbivore. That means it was a vegetarian. It ate plants, not meat. Mmm, -mm, delicious veggies. Did you see the tail on Stegosaurus? On its tail, it had huge spikes, almost half the size of a human. It used them for defending themselves against scary dinosaurs. Stegosaurus always travelled in a herd with lots of other Stegosauruses. So what have we learned? We learned Stegosaurus was found in North America and Portugal, and it lived 150 million years ago in the Jurassic period. With Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus means roofed lizard because it had those plates on its back, like the roof of a house. It was as big as a bus but its brain was only the size of a walnut. The plates on its back were either to keep it warm or to show off to other Stegosauruses. It ate loads of veggies and Stegosaurus had huge spikes on its tail for defending itself. And it always travelled in a herd with lots of friends and family. We hope you enjoyed learning about the wonderful Stegosaurus. Bye, Stegosaurus! Yay! Let's learn all about Brachiosaurus! Yay! How do you say that again? Bra -ki -o -sor -rus. Do you know how tall the Brachiosaurus was? It was as tall as a semi trailer truck is long! Do you think Brachiosaurus was heavy? You're right! It weighed as much as five elephants! Which animal does Brachiosaurus look similar to? Just like a giraffe, it had a very long neck. It could be up to nine metres long. That's nearly twice as long as a whole giraffe, just in the neck. Brachiosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were a group of dinosaurs that grew to be huge. Other sauropods include Diplodocus and Brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus was a herbivore. That means it was a vegetarian. It ate plants, not meat. Yum! A Brachiosaurus walked on all fours, but sometimes it stood on its back legs to reach really high trees. Brachiosaurus ate a lot of food. Not that food, plants, remember? It ate 400 kilograms of plants every day. That's the same as 4,000 apples every day. 
the average human only eats 2 kilograms a day. It had lots of teeth, 52 altogether, for grinding up the plants that it ate. Do you know what Brachiosaurus means? It means arm lizard, because its front legs, or arms, were longer than its back legs. Brachiosaurus was found in North America, the same place as T-Rex, but not at the same time. It lived about 150 million years ago, in the mid to late Jurassic period. J, ra, sick. So Brachiosaurus would have been neighbours with Stegosaurus. So what have we learned? We learned Brachiosaurus was as tall as a semi-trailer truck is long. It was so heavy, it weighed as much as five elephants. It was really similar to a giraffe, with a very long neck. But the neck was twice as long as a whole giraffe. It was a sauropod, and it grew to be huge, just like Diplodocus and Brontosaurus. Brachiosaurus was a herbivore. It ate lots of veggies. It sometimes stood on its back legs to reach leaves on really high trees. And it ate lots of food, 400 kilograms every day. It had 52 teeth for grinding up all the plants it ate. And Brachiosaurus means arm lizard because its front legs were longer than its back legs. Brachiosaurus was found in North America, like T-Rex. And it lived about 150 million years ago in the Jurassic period, with Stegosaurus. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating Brachiosaurus. Bye, Brachiosaurus. Let's learn all about the most famous dinosaur ever, Tyrannosaurus Rex. How do you say that again? Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's often called T-Rex for short though. T-Rex was really big and quick. In fact, it was as big as a bus. And it could run as fast as one. How heavy was a T-Rex? A fully grown T-Rex was really heavy. It weighed as much as four rhinos. It walked on two huge legs and it used its large head to balance its very long tail. T-Rex had two arms and while they may look small, they were very powerful and featured two clawed fingers. Yikes! What did T-Rex eat? It was most definitely a carnivore. That means it ate meat from other dinosaurs. No plants here. T-Rex had huge teeth. Its teeth were the largest found from any carnivorous dinosaur around 30 centimetres long. It had the most powerful bite of any land animal ever. A T-Rex had growth spurts, just like humans do. When T-Rex hit the age of 14, it would put on loads of weight, around 600 kilograms a year over the next four years. 600 kilograms is how much a large polar bear weighs. T-Rex had really good eyesight and it could see four times as far as humans. No need for glasses here. Do you know what Tyrannosaurus Rex means? It means king of the tyrant lizards because it was the most famous of a group of ferocious dinosaurs. T-Rex was found in North America, just like the giant Brachiosaurus, but not at the same time.
It lived about 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Cra, te, shus. So they would have been neighbours with Triceratops, but they weren't friends. So what have we learned? We learned T-Rex was as big and quick as a bus. And it weighed as much as four rhinos. It walked on two legs and used its huge head to balance its very long tail. T-Rex had two small arms that were surprisingly powerful. It was a carnivore, which means it ate meat, not plants. It had the biggest teeth found in any carnivore and it had the most powerful bite of any land animal ever. A T-Rex had growth spurts. When it turned 14 years old, it started putting on about 600 kilograms a year for four years. It could see really well. No glasses here. Tyrannosaurus rex means king of the tyrant lizards. And it was found in North America, just like Brachiosaurus. It lived about 75 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, alongside Triceratops. We hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most famous of all the dinosaurs. Bye Tyrannosaurus Rex! Let's learn all about Velociraptor! How do you say that again? V -lo Si rap ta Sometimes they were just called raptors. Velociraptors were smaller than you might think. After seeing Jurassic World, they were roughly the size of a turkey. <laughs> it was quite long though, about as long as a full-size bed. How much did a velociraptor weigh? They weighed up to 15 kilograms. That's about the weight of two small dogs. <laughs> Velociraptor walked on two legs and had sharp claws measuring three inches long on its feet. These were used to catch its food, smaller dinosaurs. Scientists think the Velociraptor actually had feathers like a bird. This was probably to keep them warm though, or to show off, not to fly. It's thought that Velociraptor hunted in packs, so it would have been surrounded by lots of other raptors. Do you know what Velociraptor means? It means speedy thief, because it was so quick and agile. It was so fast that it would have the world record in the 100 meter sprint, if it could race. Velociraptor was found in Mongolia and China. It lived about 75 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. That was the same time as T-Rex. So what have we learned? We learned that Velociraptor was only the size of a turkey and it only weighed as much as two small dogs. They walked on two legs with a big sharp claw on each foot. They probably had some feathers, but they weren't for flying. They hunted in packs with other raptors. Velociraptor means speedy thief because it was so quick and agile. It was very fast. It would have the world record in the 100 meter sprint. Velociraptor was found in Mongolia and China, and it lived about 75 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Same as T-Rex. We hope you enjoyed learning about the exciting Velociraptor. Bye Velociraptor. How do you say that again? An, ki, lo, so, rus. How big was an ankylosaurus? It was as long as a bus. And as heavy as two hippos. It was like a tank. 
big and strong and covered in armoured scales. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard because bones in its skull and other parts of its body were fused together, making it very tough. Whilst their top was very hard, they had a very soft underbelly that was not protected by any armour. It also had a big old club on its tail. This was used to defend itself against predators like the T-Rex, which was around at the same time. Ankylosaurus would eat leaves and plants that were low on the ground easy for it to reach. Because it was so big and heavy, its top speed was only around 6 miles an hour. That's the same speed as a human jogging. Not fast enough to outrun a T-Rex though. Ankylosaurus was found in North America, just like Triceratops and T-Rex. They lived about 67 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. Again with Triceratops and T-Rex. So what have we learned? We learned that Ankylosaurus was as big as a bus and as heavy as two hippos. <coughs> it was like a tank covered in armour. Very tough. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard because its bones were fused together. But while the top was hard, its underbelly was very soft. It had a big club on its tail to defend itself against dinosaurs like T-Rex. It ate very low leaves and plants because it wasn't very tall. Because it was so big and heavy, Ankylosaurus could only run as fast as a human jogging. It couldn't outrun T-Rex. It was found in North America and lived 67 million years ago in the Cretaceous period with Triceratops and T-Rex. We hope you enjoyed learning about the brilliant Ankylosaurus. Bye Ankylosaurus! Let's learn all about Spinosaurus! How do you say that again? Spi-no-saurus. Can you say it with me? Spi-no-saurus. Do you know how big a Spinosaurus was? It was one of the biggest carnivores, that's a meat-eating dinosaur, that ever lived. It was bigger than a T-Rex. It was as long as a semi-trailer truck. How much did Spinosaurus weigh? It weighed as much as three elephants. Spinosaurus means spine lizard. Can you guess why? Because of these huge spines on its back. The spines grew up to seven feet long. That's taller than a human. Much like the plates on a stegosaurus, scientists think that the spines were either used to keep it warm from the sun or to attract other spinosauruses. It had a unique head for a carnivore, just like a crocodile. It was long and thin. And like crocodiles, it's thought that Spinosaurus could also swim. Unlike lots of other meat-eating dinosaurs, Spinosaurus had large arms. So strong! This meant that as well as walking on two legs, it could also walk on all fours. Spinosaurus was found in North Africa. 
They lived about 100 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Cre -te -tious. So what have we learned? We learned Spinosaurus was one of the biggest carnivores that ever lived. Bigger than a T-Rex, as long as a semi-trailer truck, and weighing as much as three elephants. Spinosaurus means spine lizard because of those huge spines. The spines on its back were bigger than a human. They were up to seven feet long, and they were either used to keep it warm or to attract other Spinosauruses. It had a head like a crocodile. It could probably swim and also walked on two legs or four. How versatile! Spinosaurus was found in North Africa and it lived about 100 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. We hope you enjoyed learning about the incredible Spinosaurus. Bye Spinosaurus! Let's learn all about Diplodocus. Hooray! How do you say that again? Di plo de cus. How big was a Diplodocus? It was one of the longest dinosaurs ever. It was as long as nearly four and a half buses. Most of this length was taken up by its neck and tail. It would walk around with both of them parallel to the ground, balancing each other. How heavy was a Diplodocus? It was as heavy as a dump truck. It was one of the slowest dinosaurs around. Its top speed was only nine miles per hour, so a regular human could easily outrun it. Diplodocus would use its tail like a whip. Scientists think it could even break the sound barrier. It used it to defend itself against scary dinosaurs. Diplodocus had smaller front legs and bigger back legs. So it would often rear up onto two legs to reach higher food. He never skipped leg day. It only had teeth at the front of its mouth which it used to strip leaves off of branches. Do you know what Diplodocus means? It means double beamed lizard. That's because it had unique double bones all along the underside of its tail. Diplodocus was found in North America, just like T-Rex, but not at the same time. They lived around 150 million years ago in the mid to late Jurassic period. So they would have been neighbours with Stegosaurus and Brachiosaurus. So what have we learned? We learned that Diplodocus was as long as four and a half buses. And the length was taken up by its neck and tail that balanced each other out. It was as heavy as a dump truck, so it was very slow. Its top speed was only nine miles per hour. A human could easily outrun it. Diplodocus could use its tail like a very fast whip. This was used to defend itself against other dinosaurs. It had shorter front legs and longer back legs, so it could stand up to reach higher food. And it only had teeth at the front of its mouth to strip leaves from trees. Diplodocus means double beamed lizard because of the double bones found in its tail. It was found in North America and lived about 150 million years ago in the mid to late Jurassic period. With Stegosaurus and Brachiosaurus. We hope you enjoyed learning about the amazing Diplodocus. Bye Diplodocus! Yay! To learn about more dinosaurs, please make sure you subscribe or click the links at the end of this video.